All right, this is another update video. Uh, basically, uh, this is the 3D uh, printed flame gun from Logan's Run, the Sandman Deep Sleep flame pistol. It was uh, 3D printed in the PLA, and finally I, I got the whole thing assembled and painted black. And basically, this is uh, what it looks like. Uh, right here is a button that I put where my thumb is right there, that right there is what I'll press with my thumb which will start the arc right there at the tip and hopefully we'll get uh, four flames out the, uh, the nozzles and we'll uh, see what happens here. So as soon as I press the button I'll pull the trigger here to release the gas and we should uh, get uh, the four flames. What I've done is I'm standing here at uh, the reflection in a window right here and I want to see if we not only can see the uh, the four flames, uh, but also see it here uh, uh, right out of the nozzle. So I'm not sure how this is going to look, but I'm going to give it a shot here. So right now we're aimed. I'm trying to see where it is in the window. Okay, so I guess I'm aimed right at right at me there. And then uh, let me back this up, and we'll see what happens here. Here we go. Hit the button, get the arc, and then press for the gas. Wow, did you see that? <laughs> Here we go again. Wow, okay. So I don't know if you could see that, but I'm going to wait just a little bit here to see if we can get any more shots uh, because basically once the gas is released, it relieves pressure in the uh, chamber there and more gas should be created. Uh, because what happens is it builds up pressure to the point that it doesn't release the uh, the gas anymore. It doesn't create gas anymore. So I'm going to wait here for a few seconds and uh, see if we can get at least one more one more shot out of it. And uh, I'm going to try it here. Normally you, you could probably just tap on the the back portion there and maybe uh, you know get the reaction going inside the chamber. Uh, but uh, since I've only got the one hand. I'm uh, holding the gun as well as holding the camera. So let's try it again. We'll look, see if we can get another shot out of it here. Okay, well we got, we got a little bit there. <laughs> so anyway, there it is. It's a uh, flame producing Logan's Run pistol. Um, it works pretty good. I might actually uh, try it again a little later see what happens but I just wanted to get this video going to, so people could see what I've got so I'm going to try it again you see if we got any more gas uh, I'm just going to hold it here okay yeah you know <laughs> just a little bit all right so there it is uh, just wanted to share that with you and thank you for watching all right turn this off here All right, well, uh, this is the second test. Uh, a few minutes ago, I did a test uh, with the uh, pistol, so this will be the second test. Basically, I reloaded the chamber uh, with the gas, and it should be ready to test here uh, momentarily. So let's uh, try this again. Basically, I'm going to aim it at the window and at the flame gun here if I can see both I'm not sure how I'm going to do this but uh, here we go arc and then the fire let's see ooh okay that was that wasn't bad I don't know if you saw that try it again here nice so let's wait a few seconds for the uh, the gas to uh, to build up in the chamber because once you uh, shoot it, it uh, reduces the pressure in the chamber and it allow more gas to be produced until it reaches a certain pressure inside the chamber and then it stops uh, re you know producing the gas until uh, you reduce it again. So let's let's try it again. Here we go. 
I'm going to hit the button and then the gas. I don't know if you can see. Here we go. Yeah! Nice! Wow, this looks great from this end. I don't know if anybody can see it. But let's wait again a few seconds here. I have a pretty good load in there. But I found that uh, I, when I empty it out, if I don't wait for it to you know, produce the gas, then I find that there's wasted uh, CC. So let's try it again here, see if we can get a couple more shots out of it. I'm going to press the button here with my thumb. And we'll try it again. Nice. It, this really looks great from this end. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody can see it, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll look at the video. But let me wait a second or so. I think we're about on our last shot here. I think, what, that's four, four shots, four or five. I wasn't really counting. I was kind of happy that it works, actually. So let's uh, wait a second here, see what happens. So when I go to clean out the chamber, the CC should be more like a powder, a white dry powder rather than a grayish powder. If it's grayish, then then there either wasn't enough water or I didn't give it enough time to, uh, to create the gas. So we're going to go ahead and try it again here. Let's see if we can get a shot here. Okay, here we go. Hit the button. Well, that, that's not too bad. It's getting down. Probably, probably one more time and then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this build. This is indeed one of a kind as far as a uh, 3D printed Logan's Run blaster and it's uh, much different than the original the design is way different and it essentially couldn't have been really couldn't have been built uh, the way this is you know back when the original was done so technology today kind of helped uh, in the design of this and including the uh, 3d printers that are uh, much easier to use these days okay let's go ahead and try again we're going to hit the spark and see if we can get anything out of here Trying to see if I can see it in the window. Here we go. Okay, well, it. Uh, okay, that's it. I think uh, I think we've reached the end of the uh, the load. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video.